you just analyze this real quick, Ben? Yeah. So, 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 what was the first match of TLC? Can you remember? It was the Drew McIntyre versus AJ Styles, right? Good match. That was insane. That that match was insane. Probably a good seven out of ten for me. What about yourself? Yeah, give it Then what was the match after? Was it the um, Sasha Banks? Apart from, right. apart from it being so... Sh I mean, no, it wasn't really that short. Was it about 20 minutes? Yeah. Uh, I'll go eight on that one, you know. I'll for a females match, it was up there. Yeah, I'd say seven and a half, eight, something like that. Then we had the... Was it the female... Was it the female four-way? The, the, the tag, tag match? The tag match. That was probably like a five... Five or six. It wasn't as. Five point five six. The thing is, I'm only putting on a five purely because we already knew the outcome. Yeah. That's the only reason why I'm putting that on a five. If we didn't know the outcome, like if if Charlotte hadn't been there, someone else would have been there, and the outcome would have been RNG. I'm telling you, that match could have been a lot better. But obviously, as soon as we saw Charlotte, we knew where the, where it was going, and uh, we knew how it would end. What did we have after that? Did we have the Kevin Owens match after the tag match? No, it wasn't. It was the tag match uh, for K Kobe Kingston. Then we had the New Day match. That's ba I'm, I don't know. I don't really watch that. I put that for. Uh, uh, yeah, I put that as a four and a half. It would have been better. It would have been higher for me if the New Day actually won. And if the New Day had Big E, then that would definitely been higher for me. Because obviously, man's repping the New Day, so it's hoping for a double on that. But end up being an L. Is what it is. You can't win them all. And then it was the KO fight. Yeah, which was uh, that. That's going up. That's going up for a nine for me. Like that is a nine. That's not a ten. There's there's just something missing for it for me for, for it to be a ten. It was an incredible match. I think for for me, if Kevin Owens would have won it, it would have been a ten. That would have been incredible. But the fact that Roman won. But the fact that Roman won, and I predicted Roman would win, and I predicted how it would happen, it's a nine. And the Firefly Inferno is a 10. Yes. The Firefly Inferno is a 10. This is a 10. The Firefly Inferno, Randall Keith Orton. I was a rollercoaster of emotions in that match. That that was fucked. It, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm still in shock. I'm still speechless. What have they done to The Fiend? The Fiend's gone. The Fiend's, the Fiend's deceased. He's, he's in flames. He's a... Uh, ah, oh, bro. But he's one of my favorite characters as well. Like The Fiend is gas. But that match was nuts. I have never seen anything like the fact the fact that the fiend was on fire and still running into the ring. What? What? Are we taking the piss? Wow. Wow. Very good. WWE, you saved the you saved one of the best matches you guys have ever done for 2020 to end off a shite year. Have a okay on fire. That, that was a that, that RKO was a fire, bro. That RKO was bro. That that RKO is going to be one of the best RKOs we're oh, ever going to see. 100%. We had sick RKOs in the past, very good ones, very very sick ones. Title winning RKOs. This, even though it's not for a fucking title, was the fucking best RKO I've ever fucking seen come out of nowhere, nigga. Like it was. Yeah, the fact that he was still standing after he was on fire. I mean, obviously, he's, he's fire. Like, I mean, he's wearing a leather jacket. I mean, leather melts. It doesn't really catch fire. It melts. It's kind of like it's kind of like a plastic. And it's not a plastic, but the texture of it is kind of like a plastic. So, literally, it should, it normally, it should melt. But it actually caught fire. So, I was quite surprised on that. But that 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 that's I'm I'm I have to applaud it. TLC 2020. Dub, in my books, the whole thing overall, as a pay-per-view, have to give it a nine. I don't. Uh, the thing is, I can't really judge it on other pay-per-views I've really watched because I'm falling asleep on it on every other one I've tried watching. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, bro, you fell asleep on this one. I come to your house and woke you up. Uh, you would have said the fiend, but the fiend's gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have liked this sort of video on a recap of a uh, pay-per-view and want to see more of these videos, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but yeah. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even